Here we have the Mark Line 356 just come in at our Brundle office, currently on display here in the uh, Brundle sales area. It's a circa 2001 boat, and we've got a single Case New Holland 128 horsepower diesel in here for a shaft. It's got a single diesel economy, shaft driven, sought after setup. 128 horsepower, so got a little bit of grunt there as well. Aft cabin boat, this good accommodation. Just look around the exterior, you can see we've got these nice wide decks fully enclosed by these stainless steel guard rails. Canopy up there, all in good order, nice sized sort of fly deck up a wheelhouse there. We'll have a look in there in a moment. Boarding ladder up to the fore deck, you see these guard rails all the way around. We've got electric windlass, deck and helm controls, mud weight there. Ropes and fenders, crab rails. Gel coat all looks in good order. Could do with the usual polish up as, as most of them do this time of year. But nothing too major, overall pretty good order. And then we'll just have a look down on the bathing platform. See there, bathing platform, good access. Steps up for a transom gate. Nice and easy to get aboard. Swan song. So yeah, clean and tidy, clearly been looked after. Uh, boat, the boat has been used on the broads, uh, moored here in Brundle most recently. So one more look around the exterior. We'll move on in and uh, take a look on the... Uh, so coming on into the upper wheelhouse, the cockpit area. We've got plenty of seats in here, all along the aft end. Upholstery is good, very nautical blue effect, striped. There's that transom gate and the steps down to the bathing platform, very easy access and fully enclosed there as you can see around to the, the side decks. Got a double helm seat with this back of the seat that does Reverse. We've got bow thruster, there's the uh, helm control for the electric windlass as well. Um, various navigation equipment, we've got an RL70C there, uh, tri data, VHF, we have got one of those downstairs, Simrad VHF. There's the access down below, we'll head on there in a moment. You can see a good vantage point up here. Good 360 views. As we mentioned, that canopy all in good order. Nice sociable cockpit area. We'll head on down below. So here's the main around. saloon area. Got a, a small staircase down below. Excuse the fishing rods there on the saloon floor. So we've got a comfortable U-shaped settee to starboard. TV on the wall there. Nice and light down here, these big windows letting plenty of light. Upholstery's all good. Got this sort of chaise lounge slash more seating on the on the port side. There's the VHF. Set radio, diesel warm air heating, the curtains, woodworks in a fair order. You see that. Then three more steps just down into the galley. So we've got full size uh, gas, three, four burner hob, oven and grill, sink and drainer, got microwave up there, large coolmatic fridge. Good stowage. We've got a nice light and open down here. Just pan around there again. Again, the woodwork's in in good order. We've got a V berth in the front, not made up at the moment, but you can uh, see the V berth there. Linings are all good. 
nicely presented. One of two heads. Shower in here as well, WC. Again, you can just see the saloon there. If you pan around. Again, lining's all good in here as well. A little bit of woodwork there. I just need a little bit of attention, but all oh, standard stuff for both its age, really. And then we've got a nice island double berth down in the aft cabin. Let's pop the light on. Good size. Yeah, a little bit of woodwork there on the starboard side. Uh, to be expected, these. These boats with these nice big windows inevitably do end up with some leaks at some point in their life, but nothing too drastic for a boat that's 20 years old. I'll just pan around so you can see you've got plenty of stowage, nice little dressing table area there. Staying on the whole, woodwork is, is good actually, it, it presents well, clearly looked after it, so I used here on the broads. And we've got the ensuite facility here as well. The second heads. So that is the Mark Line 356. Uh, full specification, but more photographs in the link below. Uh, available at the Brundle office. Any questions, or any questions or queries? Then please do give the guys a shout.